Alex from Ortiz Oporio and today we will explore the new features of Pulse. Uh, first of all, if you haven't subscribed already on our YouTube channel, feel free to do it since we will upload uh, new videos for every next update or whenever we uh, launched a new product. Uh, now, since we didn't make a video on the first Pulse update, we will cover these features first and then we will move on to the uh, new 1.2 Pulse's features. So let's get on it. Uh, the first thing that we've added on the uh, 1.1 version of Pulse uh, was the sequence speed, uh, right here, this button. Uh, you can choose now beside the normal speed in which uh, you create your sequence, uh, half or double the speed. So let's say if I have this sequence, let's put this on bass. can choose a double speed or half the speed and you get to do that uh, without uh, you having to change uh, the tempo of your door or the tempo of contact if you are using it as uh, a standalone uh, the second thing that we've added was uh, the humanized button, right here, this one. Uh, while uh, this button is pressed, uh, like this, the exported sequence will be slightly humanized, in the meaning that all the exported notes, and I'm emphasizing on the exported, uh, will be moved to the left or right by a maximum of 20 milliseconds. So if let's say for example as a control the humanize is off uh, I reset the MIDI uh, object I press a note I prepare it and I export it let's hide it you will see this that it's uh, fully quantized but if I press uh, the humanize And again, I export it. You will see here that uh, all the notes have slightly uh, moved to the left or right by a maximum of 20 milliseconds. Uh, this will give you uh, a more human uh, feeling to your sequence. But you get to choose if you want to be, let's say, uh, robotic or to have a more humanized uh, touch. Uh, the last thing that we've added on the 1.1 uh, uh, version was two more scales. Uh, the half diminished seventh and the harmonic minor. So you get to choose uh, from uh, more scales and experiment more. Uh, now passing on to uh, the 1.2 uh, version. Now, the main feature that really stand out is uh, right here, the play button. Uh, if you press it on, it will uh, start playing the sequence without you having to uh, press continuously any uh, note on your keyboard. Uh, but to do this, you have already to uh, press a note. Let's say if I had just loaded Pulse and I wanted to play this sequence uh, I would get this message so I have to press a MIDI key so I'm pressing one MIDI key if I want to change it I will stop it I play uh, another MIDI note and it will uh, continuously play until turned off uh, on, on this version we've uh, also slightly changed the interface and we've added here on the bottom a uh, display message window. Uh, now every time you press a button from this uh, menu you will see a message on uh, uh, this display which will disappear after a couple of seconds. So for example, the MIDI object was reset, please uh, press the export node. The MIDI object was prepared. This is the sync of or on the export on 
we will get on this button in a while uh, the tempo change we will get to this button uh, in a while the play and the edit button of course um, the second thing now that we've added was uh, the reverse sequence button right here uh, what these buttons do uh, is uh, to reverse the sequence that is visible. Now, if this button is pressed, whenever you load a preset, it will, be, it will also be in reverse mode until you switch off this button. So, again, I have the sequence. I will use the automatic button. And I reverse it. If I load another preset, okay, so you get to uh, have more uh, uh, ca capabilities of exploring new things or even try. Uh, to see what your sequence would look like if it was in the uh, reversed order. For us, it, uh, it was really cool to have this button. And uh, we hope that you will uh, find it useful as well. Uh, finally, the main addition uh, in this version uh, is the export in multiple nodes button, right here. Uh, the button with the three horizontal arrows. Uh, this button will give you the opportunity to export your sequence up to three nodes. And uh, the trick is to press simultaneously uh, the nodes in which you want your sequence to be exported. Uh, so let's say for uh, example that I have this sequence. I reset the MIDI button. And since this is switched on, I will uh, press two nodes. The ones that you saw here. So I prepare it, and if I export it, I will have my sequence in uh, two nodes. Of course, uh, you can do this with only one node if you want to. So again, if I reset, I press only one node, I prepare it, and then I export it, I have only one node. And if I want three nodes, I reset, and then let's press these three notes and if I want to export it now it is exported on three notes and of course you can also uh, play with all these buttons uh, and mess around and find uh, a, a suitable sequence that uh, uh, you like uh, Finally, I have to tell you because we've received uh, a few emails from you about uh, the way we import uh, the samples in Pulse. Inside the manual, you will find a detailed guide uh, about how to uh, import them. Uh, so, uh, that's all for today. I'm Alex from Origins of Audio. Until the next time, I bid you farewell. <laughs>